Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. The final leaks are here. We got the uh, Scoyatel and the final um, couple of uh, neutrals. Uh, the expansion looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Lots of changes coming, especially from what they showed to Northern Realms. It's going to be crazy. Uh, first, let's go over the, uh, the haymaker that is uh, Francesca. She is uh, 7 strength, 10 provisions, elf mage, she has veil, so she, you can't uh, poison her or lock her, which is really nice. Um, whenever you play a special card, remove the counter, counter 3. When counter reaches 0, spawn and play a doomed copy of the last special card you played. I think you play this in um, Nature's Gift, and you can replay... Um, Shaping nature could be pretty huge. Um, you could technically combo this in to get it in one turn with Fav into something, into something else. Um, well, that would only be two. Well, no, that would be... Yeah, you could do it with Fav. Fav procs it next turn. So that's pretty nice. Um, should be a, a good combo. I love this art. It's one of my favorites from uh, um, from Beta. So it's hap I'm happy to have this card back. Really great. Um, let's check out the other ones. Um, uh, the Sorceress of Dolblathana. This card looks really good too. Um, lots of orders though. Um, four strength, five provisions. Uh, Elf Mage, order, create and play a bronze Scoyatel special card with provision costs equal to or lower than this card's power. Um, so, I mean, being able to play another Rebuke seems pretty good. Um, possibility. Um, there's some bad cards, but I mean, like, another one, I think you play this with Gift. Um, being able to... Because special cards are nature cards. I'm 85% sure of that. <laughs> if not, there's yeah, they have to be. But um, I really like this card. I love this art. Scoyatel killed it with the art this time, I think. Uh, really cool. Um, like I said, I think it, it fits nice into a gift list. Um, oh, the, the Vanadane. Vanadane. Six strength, eight provisions. Francesca's in this one as well. She's looking hella pissed. Um, they're fighting off the, the villagers here. Uh, six strength, eight provisions. Just an elf. Deploy. Move two cards from your hand to the bottom of your deck. Add waylay to your hand for each card that you moved away. Whenever you play waylay, spawn an elven dead eye on this row. So if you play waylay and get the death blow it plays for nine which is massive it only being a six makes it kind of tough but um really cool card and if you can get this to stick on the board and get a um, vernacial wow getting even more elves on the board for dead eye ambush Good luck. You better bleed the hell out of this deck. You see Deadeye, you gotta you gotta win, or your your whole board's toast. Um, one more. The um Dolblathana Whisper or Whisper of Dolblathana. Three strength, five provisions. People were saying this was like ethereal. It has veil, so um can't lock it. When you play a special card, spawn a base copy of self on this row. And remove a counter so counter one um so yeah it's ethereal um man the more i look at this the more um enslave five is looking like it it could be a thing um won't be anything special but um red coin on engine decks should be huge um really cool art i don't know if this one will see play since it's five but I don't know. And then we got two neutrals. 
we got the um, this one was just revealed the uh, mega scope it's an artifact for provision artifact which is pretty crazy um, choose a bronze allied unit after two turns spawn its base copy on the right of the mega scope um, I mean this seems pretty good I mean you can get a a pretty cheap engine um, I mean with movement scoitel you can get another protector you can get a viper witcher or whatever not a viper witcher but the cat witcher um, lots of versatility with this card for only four provisions I think it's I mean unless you're going for something devotion I think it's auto include I mean being able to get a four provision for four provisions possibly getting something like a you know, something that can get you nine values seems pretty crazy to me. So, pretty awesome card. And then the last one, uh, Teleport. I got to look it up real quick. I didn't import it into the thing. Teleportation. Yeah, it's... Uh, reset an allied unit's power. If it's a bronze unit, replay its... Replay it instead. I'm super confused with this card. People are saying that it boosts its strength. Um, I don't know why you would reset a unit's power. I was the way I was reading it is I thought like if there was two, say, um, sea jackals on the board, you can. Um, reset them both that's the way i read it i don't know but let me know how it works i'm curious i i, I got I, I was reading the comments and stuff on it and i'm like uh i don't know but um all right so some of the changes uh that went over the stream real quick um i won't go over all of them but some of the ones that i really liked will shuffle through them um veda maker i thought was a really cool change um, him not being a druid kind of sucks. If he was a druid, this would be really good in the new uh, Skellig archetype. But uh, he's a 6 for 6 deployed. Decrease all row effects by 1. Ranged. Decrease row effects. I guess in the mirror, in, in that uh, thing, it, it would help out a lot. But I don't know. You're still putting it in weather. So, But if you control the scepter of storms, you'd... Can increase or decrease by three which i don't know it seems cool though i like the idea um germain he can now spawn cards uh spawn cows um so you can get some more um possible swarm value with glusty or um maybe maybe playing them in a thing list a rock of swarm uh, Bruis she's getting dropped to six but she has order now instead of just consuming three which is nice it always felt awkward if you got this last and you just ate three things that you didn't want to so um, whenever you play a crone though you can get the extra, extra charges so it 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 works out a little bit better Karen this is pretty huge it has immunity now um, but it's all at one go. So Karen eats everything and at one time you got to pick three units. So basically it turned into um, the three the third crone Bruis, but it's immune, which is pretty great. I mean, especially in immunity or uh, dominance decks having something that's immune. And then penitent uh, some of this is the same row now. Um, stockpile change pretty huge it's going from 17 to 15 provisions order reduce the cooldown of three adjacent northern realm units by one and spawn a volunteer on their row charges three so it only gets three charges now but if you get them all in the right spot spies is going to mess with this super hard though um because by the time you get the third one down, you're going to be shuffling around. 
Um, but, uh, man, if they if they can't monkey with that, getting three charges off, man, they might be able to kill something. Um, you might be able to boost something up to get uh, on Sace or maybe Selkirk into range. I really like this change. I think it's going to help it out a lot. Um, the machines got hooked up. Uh, Priscilla, I don't know about this one. Um, it seems okay, but... Um, she goes from six to nine, six strength, nine provisions. <laughs> Zeal order, heal an allied unit by four and reset its cooldown. Inspired, boost an allied unit by four and reset its cooldown. So, I, it, it's a, she's not an engine anymore, but she can definitely mess some stuff up. Uh, Dandelions crazy now uh, he's another one six for nine that's hilarious um, order boost a unit in your deck by two cooldown two inspired at the end of your turn boost the top unit in your deck by one so there's cards that you can put on the top of your deck now I believe the Cintron Envoy maybe uh, shout out to the Nippon Gwent uh, for putting this stuff up he puts it up in you know Japanese or whatever but uh, um, really cool I believe this is Japanese I, I if it's not I apologize um, but uh, cool card uh, damn sorceress she's an engine now cooldown two so she's a seven for five off rip and then she can get bigger the more shields you get uh, reinforced Ballista got a mini buff with the resu resupply. Uh, Hubric uh, lowered from five to or to eight. Whenever this unit, it's still the same, but it has counter ten. Whenever this unit uses an order ability while this card is in your deck, remove a counter from it. When counter reaches zero, summon this card from your deck to your ranged row. So he's a bo he's a boat. He's an order boat. Order boat. <laughs> okay. Um, I, that that one seems pretty good too. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I, I these are the changes I really like right here. Winch uh, boosts knowledge unit by five, reduces cooldown by three. So now some of these cards have cooldowns. You can change that. Um, so it plays for its provisions, and then it could possibly bump up the. Um, thing cooldown is not countdown so this doesn't work with meave um everybody was going nuts on meave and it's like it doesn't work that way um since you're an envoy this card i think is really good uh four for four formation order look at three random cards from your deck and move one to the top cooldown two so you can keep doing that you could you could basically the longer this card sits in on the thing you can sculpt your hand your next draws and then two well i guess clog wouldn't really matter you're, you're looking at all the shit they clogged you with but um on a red coin being able to sculpt your hand for the next round seems pretty good um this one though this card is so sweet i love this so it has armor it's a seven um it's still in horse and range which kind of sucks but uh, if you can boost it up with some, you know, one of these manipulation deals, you know, that would be pretty good. Uh, zeal, order damage an enemy unit by two, and it's adjacent units by one, cooldown four. So you can um, use it again in four turns or use winch on it, and the next turn you could do this again. And then if you got a way like Triss to play it again, you can do it again. It's like cooldown two with crew it's two so if you have the thing every other turn this thing's hitting for four possibly um you could play around it a little bit but with artifacts and stuff but even still this is uh this is a beast i mean an absolute beast um big shoes um four for five I love this. I love this card, man. I've always loved this card. I'm so happy that mages are going to get hooked up. Um, damage unit by one, charge one, gain one charge whenever you play a mage or spell, um, or spell, which is huge. Um, 
because before it was hard there wasn't enough mages to make this proc all the time but if you could play some specials now and boost it up and give it some other stuff this thing becomes you know a decent engine now um i really love this card i i can't wait to mess around with this mage archetype it seems like so much fun whenever you trigger patience boost self so it's a mini engine itself um it doesn't grant the charges anymore though which kind of sucks i was i was hoping this would stay the same but it might be busted especially with the way the leaders are set up and the way they change stockpile um i, I don't really care for this change too much um it's an easy engine it's for provisions portal target highly unlikely there's better targets but i don't this this one i don't like i, I remember i didn't like this one and then uh, Naneki, uh, she's uh, got an extra strength buff there. Shawnee, now Shawnee is bananas. Um, you probably you could probably start doing some fun stuff with her on uh, those um, Cinturin Royal Guards, I believe they are. The guys that keep growing as there's as many on the board. Cooldown seven. Once again, you can use that special to lower that to a four basically which is pretty good um i think this card's another one that's going to be massive um being able to bring back a bronze unit um it's going to be huge i i really like the change to shawnee shawnee's all i mean the art is so good too like give her some time to shine thaler not really a fan of it's card draw stuff i was hoping he would be an orders guy um he was, I believe, a, something similar to this before. He was a spy before, Silver Spy. Um, man, there's a lot of changes. Let's uh, skip down to some of the other ones. Uh, oh, there really isn't that many. Let's go over the Nilf card changes. Uh, Imposter, order, lock an enemy unit, then spawn its base copy in the opposite row, and boost it by the number of enemies with statuses. So you could set up all your spies on one row or your locks and the unit that you lock and spawn is going to get even bigger so it's it's kind of like a a buff and a nerf at the same time because if, if you just lock the one it's only going to grow one but if there's a spy on that side of the board and some other stuff um you're going to get a little bit more value off it which is nice um Frangilla Vigo is now 7. Deploy damage an enemy unit by 2. Increase the damage by the number of adjacent mages or constructs. Where are the constructs? Kind of disappointed in this one. Um, I mean, you need... it. it I, I, I don't like this one. And then Anna, Anna Henrietta is ranged. Um, nothing really groundbreaking there. Although Freddy's smurfing with the uh the anna the anna list right now so um but um there's a whole bunch more changes they'll be out uh tomorrow um we'll have some we'll have a video up on tuesday for sure uh, monday i don't know if i'll have anything out we'll see but uh tuesday for sure we'll have something so um keep an eye out for that thank you guys so much for everything i'll see you guys next time